Hey everyone. So it's really, really late, but I am still burning the midnight oil because there is a new video that I wanted to get out for you guys. And it's not like any other video I've done before. So I'm very, very excited about it. So I'm working overtime to make sure that this video is posted. So this video is kind of like a two in one. It's one part shipping video and another part sold video. So in this video, I'm filming myself actually packaging up real life orders. And I'm also going to tell you what it sold for and what the profits were on those items that I'm shipping out. So because I've never done a video quite like this, I would really appreciate your feedback. So if you would please at some point during this video, go down into the comment section and let me know if you or enjoying it or if you don't really like this style video if you just want me to stick to the other kind of content that I do I'd really appreciate the feedback and while you're down there I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up button and let me know that you appreciate that I'm trying something new that's all there is to it this video is gonna be very straightforward I'm just gonna show you exactly how I'm packaging items and I'm gonna let you know what they sold for and what kind of profit I made on every package going out but before I start rolling tape I do want to take a minute just to thank the sponsor of this video you guys are always inquiring where exactly I am getting the merchandise that I am reselling on eBay. And one of them is the sponsor of today's video. Wholesale Ninjas is really unlike any other liquidation company that I've received merchandise from. In the world of buying liquidation, it is very, very risky. Most companies out there don't pay attention to quality control. They're all as is sales. And there's never any guarantee that everything that you receive from a company is going to be in sellable condition. That's one of my favorite things about Wholesale Ninjas. You see everything on their site, unless otherwise stated, is all in brand new condition. That means you're not taking a risk on customer returns. Everything should be in brand new condition and ready for resale. They also specialize in my favorite category for reselling online, which is health and beauty aids. There's loads of cosmetics lots. There's lots of personal care and beauty. They even have pallets of general merchandise. And one of the things that makes them a gem in the liquidation world is the fact that they have what's called a pallet breakdown service. Now, not every pallet on their site qualifies for this pallet breakdown service, but if the pallet does qualify, they will actually break down the pallet into smaller boxes and ship those boxes via ground versus having to schedule expensive freight delivery. All of these reasons and more is exactly why I have chosen to partner with Wholesale Ninjas for almost a year and a half now. Their quality control is on point, their merchandise is super consistent, customer service is awesome, and delivery is fast. And because Wholesale Ninjas is partnering with my YouTube channel, I do have a coupon code that gets you $25 off of anything that they have on their site. The code is Lindy25, and I will make sure to put this information down in the video description, and I'll also make sure to link to some of my favorite items on their site. Thank you again to Wholesale Ninjas for partnering with me once again and sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get into the footage. That way I can show you how I package real life orders for customers, give you some tips, let you know the supplies that I use, and clue you in on some of the profits that I got on those sales. First up, we have this Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh Eye Firming Treatment. So this one little box sold for $20.64. After cost of goods, shipping cost, and fees, my total profit was $12.74. I always get asked how exactly I ship items that are this small. So when something is very valuable like this, this was a $20 item, I always make sure to ship it in a box. And I try to fill that box with something, whether it's packing paper or an air pillow. In this case, I went ahead and used an air pillow because I had some on hand. That's not something I usually go out of my way to buy, but I always get them in packages whenever I receive orders. So I just save them and I use them myself. Because this box is so small, the label does have to go folded around the sides. And so I just make sure to secure it with some tape. I do get my tape for free from eBay using a shipping supply coupon. Uh, everybody gets one of those every quarter in case you didn't know. So this next shipment is four bottles of Aveeno body wash. So I always wrap everything in clear bags. These are just twist tie bags that I get from Walmart. They're roughly three cents a piece. Every box has a uh, hundred bags in them. 
and I just basically put each item that can leak and twist tie them shut and consider it good. So this four pack of Aveeno body wash sold for $31.33 and after shipping fees and cost of goods my total profit on this sale was eleven dollars and 24 cents so now the cheapest way i found to ship these bottles of body wash was actually in a regional a box i know that regional boxes can be a bit confusing i do have a video all about regional boxes that i will make sure to link down below so you can go get a detailed account of what exactly regional boxes are and how they are used but for these four bottles i used a regional a box so there's two different ones there's a regional a and there's a regional b i used a regional a because it's the smaller one and it ships at a cheaper rate uh, regional a boxes ship for a two pound weight and a regional B box ships at a four pound weight. So again, I have a video all about it that I will make sure to link so you can go learn how to save money by using regional boxes. But normally these bottles would have shipped for 14 or $15, but they only, let me see, I think it was like $9 and 14 cents if memory serves for shipping all four of these bottles, which was fantastic. It definitely helped to maximize my profits. I also have a video where I talk all about shipping liquids. One of the things that a lot of people don't seem to understand is that you can ship liquids priority and you just have to make sure that you have some sort of material in the packaging to absorb any liquids in the event that they leak. Again, that's a video that I will link down in the video description. I'll also pin it to the top pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm just using this packaging paper as a way to soak up any potential leaks that might happen during transit. I'm also using it as a form of padding. I have mentioned before that the more an item can move in a package, the more likely it is to break during transit. So the packing paper actually serves two different purposes. It serves the purpose of soaking up any potential leaks and it also serves the purpose of creating no movement in the box so that these items do not move at all during transit which reduces the chance of breakage the four bottles did fill it just about all the way to the top so i'm just going to seal it up tape it up and send it on its way Something else I feel the need to point out is I don't trust adhesive for anything. You will notice that I tape a lot. I'm very, very thankful that I get free tape. And speaking of free tape, I just ran out of tape. So I have to change the, uh, the, the tape dispenser. So um, I tape everything because I do not want to trust that the adhesive is going to stay shut. It doesn't matter if it's an adhesive on a sticky label, if it's adhesive on a box, or if it's adhesive on the, the tab of a, uh, a mailer of some kind. I will tape everything because cold weather conditions, hot weather conditions, all of that can have a negative effect on that adhesive and I do not want the package busting open and the item to fall out in transit. This next sale was a set of four boxes of Rolaids heartburn soothers. So these four boxes sold for $32.09. The total profit after cost of goods, shipping, fees, all that good stuff, total profit was $16.45, which was awesome. Now, when I shipped these antacids, I'm actually using the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll. So you guys have probably heard me talk about it on other shipping videos before. I absolutely love this product. I would say that it is a must have because the way I'm using it right now is actually saving me money. So if I were to ship these in a box, which would be what I would want to ship something like this in, it actually pushes my shipping label into the next shipping tier. And when you go up into a shipping tier, the price goes up, right? But the way I am packaging these in the Flex and Seal shipping roll, it's actually keeping it in the lower shipping tier. So I'm actually saving money with my shipping label. Now the Flex and Seal shipping roll, it is very, very cool. I do have a video 
doing an entire review of it and everything, but it, it does exactly what it says. You know, you just, you press it together and it sticks, no tape needed. It's amazing and it protects just as well as a box. I absolutely love this stuff. Now it is definitely more expensive than say your standard bubble mailer, but I do recommend having some on hand for those opportunities where maybe you can save a little bit of money by printing a cheaper shipping label because it keeps you from going into too high of a shipping tier. Or if you have an oddly shaped item and you don't really have a box that fits it, this stuff is incredible. I have been using it ever since I discovered it and I've probably gone through, I don't know, 13 rolls. It's amazing. And again, I will link all of the supplies that I use for shipping down in the video description in case you need to restock. Those are affiliate links, so I do appreciate every purchase. This next sale was a lot of four Olay calming facial mists. So the lot of four sold for $22.06. They did have to go priority because they weighed over a pound. And so that means that my total profit on that sale was only $5.04. But this is also a listing that I have multiple quantities of. And uh, I have a large quantity of these, okay? So I have a lot of lots that I can sell. I am shipping them using my signature move. It is a 1096L priority box. These boxes, I've talked about them in my heavy shipment video. Again, that's another video I'll link in case you missed it. But this is one of my favorite hacks to ship items priority the cheapest way possible. So this box is perfect for these four little bottles. So I'm just going to wrap them up kind of like I did with the body wash. And I'm going to actually be slipping this little box into a flat rate envelope. So it's only going to cost $7.18 to ship versus having to do by weight, which means it could be a little bit more expensive if the buyer is further away. The flat rate envelopes are the same weight regardless of wherever your buyer is. That's one of the reasons why I love the flat rate envelope so much. I do get lots of questions on whether or not putting a box inside of a regular flat rate envelope is okay or if it's a violation of priority supply use. It is 100% allowed. I've done videos about this. I've talked to postmasters, multiple postmasters actually. I've uh, spoken with other representatives in multiple cities and they all say as long as you are using priority supplies to ship priority, you're not violating any policies. Now, if you are using priority supplies that you do get for free and you are covering up the fact that it's priority to ship it another mail method, then that is a violation of policy. But whenever you use a priority product with another priority product, as long as you're paying for priority, it's all good. And again here, we're just sliding it nice and easy into the envelope. You'll notice that I did reinforce the edges with the tape because again, I don't trust adhesive at all. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that I think that the box is going to bust open the envelope, but I don't want to take any chances. So I do reinforce everything with tape. I mean, eBay gives us the opportunity to get this tape for free. Might as well use it. Protect your shipments. All right, this next sale is a lot of three Jergens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. I've talked about this in sold videos before. A lot of three of these sold for $42.19. I'll be shipping it in a padded flat rate envelope to maximize my profits because of course it does weigh over a pound, so it needs to go priority. Total profit on this sale was $25 and 51 cents. Now, a lot of you might be wondering how exactly I feel about packaging something that could leak in a standard, you know, bubble mailer. And luckily enough, these tubes are actually in their own little boxes. And I fit all of these into one of these envelopes before I even created the listing because I wanted to make sure the three would fit. That's another tip I have. Make sure that the way you want to ship an item fits inside the packaging that you intend to use because I've done it before where I assumed a little too much, thought it was gonna fit, and it doesn't. But I digress, I've learned from my mistakes. 
I always make sure that it fits before I ship it. Taped up, all secure, ready to go. This next sale was a lot of two boxes of Coldy's Throat Soothers. This is one of my favorite boxes, the six inch by four inch by three inch box. You guys will see me use it a lot in these shipping videos. And these items are the perfect example of why the six by four by three box is my favorite because they fit perfectly like a glove in this box. No additional padding or anything needed. It could not be more perfect. So these sold for $11.59 after shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit was $2.73. And again, this is something that doesn't bring a huge profit, but I do have multiple quantities of these. They've been selling over and over and over again. Profit every time. This next sale was a five pack of Pond's facial wipes. So this lot of five packages sold for $32.88. Again, this is going in a padded flat rate envelope because they do weigh over a pound when you package them all together. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on the sale was $11.50. Again, this was something that I made sure that everything actually fit in the padded flat rate envelope before I listed them. I almost did lots of six, but six packs, believe it or not, would not fit in here. Five was the most I could get to fit, and it's just in, in how you package them, whether they're laying on their side a little bit, or if they're at a, in an angle, I could just barely fit five. I could not fit six, so that's why I decided to do lots of five instead. Again, I know that you guys are always really curious about knowing when to do singles or when to do lots, so I am planning a video on that very, very soon. This next sale is a lot of two head and shoulders molding clay sold for $17.84 after shipping fees and cost of goods. Total profit is $7.03. Again, this is something that I do want to bag just in the event that it leaks, but I don't necessarily see the need to bag them individually. So I'll just put them together and they're going to get put in a box but I'm definitely making sure to have packaging paper. That way there is hopefully no breakage because the item won't move. And if something happens and the clay decides to leak, which it's winter, I can't see that happening, but if it does, the paper will absorb it. And then again, wrapping up the corners of the shipping label just to make sure that it doesn't peel off with my free eBay tape. This next sale was a set of two rock sensitive night creams. It's the retinol complexion variety. So I have volume pricing on. So someone was able to get two for $23.36. The original price was somewhere around $12 or $13, but they got a volume discount for buying two. So out of the $23.36 sale, my total profit was $12.93 on both of these night creams. Now, this is not the six by four by three inch box. This is actually the eight by four by three inch box. This is my second favorite box because it's almost like nine inches is too big, seven inches is too small. That's what she said. <laughs> for something. So I like the eight by four by three and the six by four by three. Those are my two favorite small boxes. This is a pack of Wamisa charcoal chai tea glow pads. So there's 25 pads. Now it sold for $29, but it did sit for a little bit. This was something that I did get in a whole sun ninjas lot and I knew it was going to sell for good money just by looking at it. And I did end up taking an offer of $29 after shipping fees and cost of goods. Total profit was $19.90, which that was a phenomenal profit on a single item. Again, I'm just going to wrap it in packaging paper to make sure that it's very well protected in this little box. Seal it up. Tape up the sides. And that is good to go. This next one is a rock 
eye cream. I've sold a lot of these so far. This one sold for $13.28. After shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit was $6.36. This is shipping identical to the Yes to Blueberry eye treatment that we saw at the very beginning. Exact same way, small box, air pocket that I got for free and still ended up with my free eBay tape. I like free. Can you tell I like free? I love free. So here's some more of that Yes To Blueberry eye treatment. So this is another example of how powerful volume pricing can be. One person actually bought four of these and paid a total of $66.16. They did get that volume pricing because if they bought one, then they buy two, they get a discount, three or more, they get an even bigger discount. So they ended up buying four and paid $66.16. After shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit was $46.75. And you could see how beautifully they fit in this six by four by three inch box with a single air pocket, perfect. Next sale is four tubes of the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. You guys have heard me mention these over and over and over again in sold videos because I had a lot of them. I had like 70 or 80 tubes. So I've been selling lots of two and four of these for months now. So again, this is something that I'm going to bag individually with these twist tie bags and then they are going to be shipped in a flat rate envelope using that 1096 L box that I showed you guys a little bit ago. I'm telling you, that's my favorite hack for shipping things priority cheap. Now, because these boxes do arrive flat, you do have to put them together, but I like the fact that they're flat because it makes storing them a lot easier. But I do definitely make sure to tape across the box just to keep it from coming apart when I'm trying to put items inside of it. And then again, when I'm trying to put the box inside the envelope. So these four tubes of Simple Face Wash sold for $22.69. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on the sale was $6.95. All right, very popular topic is shipping cosmetics. You guys, I don't do anything special with cosmetics. Honestly, I just like to put them in bubble mailers. So this was a e.l.f. contouring cream palette sold for $9.79. After shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit was $3.71. I am just putting it in a regular bubble mailer. I did make sure to go ahead and bag it up just to you know, keep it from spilling out everywhere in the event that it did break during transit. I'm also adding some more packaging paper just to try to give it a little bit more cushion inside the bubble mailer. But other than that, that's primarily how I ship all cosmetics. It also keeps shipping a lot less expensive because bubble mailers are definitely cheaper than boxes. Now, if there is a cosmetic that sells for say over $12, I will use a small box. This next sale is a set of two Garnier Skin Renew Moisturizing Facial Cream. So this person bought two of them, again with the volume discount, so they paid $41.18 for both of them. After shipping fees and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $28.56. Again, I'm using my trusty six by four by three box, and both of those face creams fit in there perfectly, no additional padding needed. I'm telling you, it's my favorite box by far. And here's an example of why I like to make sure to tape the label onto these bubble mailers. You can see it's starting to lift a little bit. 
I like using tape because I don't want to take the chance that something is going to catch on that label and the label's going to rip off. So here's some more of those rock sensitive night creams. This person bought four of them. Again, that volume discount is super powerful if you have a lot of multiple quantities. So this person ended up getting a volume discount and bought four for a total of $39.44 after fees, shipping, and cost of goods, total profit was $23.19. And again, another perfect example of using the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll. If I was to put all of these into a box, I was gonna have to use a bigger box because there was four of them. They wouldn't fit in the eight by four by three inch box. And if I had to use a bigger box, it was gonna push me into the next shipping tier. I think it was actually gonna push me over a pound. So by using the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping reel, I get the same protection, but I get to keep the cheaper shipping weight. So this is another perfect example of why I think that this is a necessity to have on hand for shipping. And honestly, I just think it's so cool that you could just pinch the sides together and it seals to itself. It doesn't stick to the stuff inside, it just sticks to itself. And then you just slap your sticky label on and I don't even feel the need to tape down the sticky label on this thing, you guys, because the label doesn't lift, nothing lifts. It's, it's magic, I swear. This next sale is a set of two Proganix Cherry Blossom Anti-Fade Conditioner. So it was a lot of two, sold for $20.79 after shipping fees and cost of goods. Total profit on the sale is $7.36. This is another example of something that I have a very large quantity of, just like these simple moisturizing face washes. I think the last time I looked, I had maybe 20 or 30 lots. It's, it's a lot of Proganics conditioner, lots of cherry blossom conditioner. But again, this is something that is over a pound when you add them together. So they're going to ship in a priority flat rate envelope using that same 1096L box trick. Just slide it right on in there, seal it up, and it's good to go. next sale is a lot of two Neutrogena Naturals cleansing makeup remover. So these have pumps. So whenever I have a liquid that has a pump, I always make sure to tape down the pump because if the pump moves and loosens during transit, it's going to pop up and it's going to allow the contents inside to start squirting out with every single move that those bottles make. So this lot of two Neutrogena makeup removers sold for $16.19 after shipping fees and cost of goods. Total profit on this sale was $5.61. Now these can ship first class. They were not so heavy that it was over a pound with a box. If I'm remembering correctly, it was just under a pound and I don't really like to ship liquids like this in the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll just because they are, you know, they, they could potentially break and breakables are not recommended with the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my eight inch by four inch by three inch box and go ahead and wrap them up with some packaging paper just to make sure that they don't move and give them a little bit more protection inside the box, but they fit perfectly. Now someone bought two of these Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Tone Correcting Night Cream Moisturizer. So they actually bought two, got that volume discount, and paid $33.64 for both of them with free shipping. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, 
total profit came out to $20.46. Now let me show you something else that I do. If I wanna make sure that I'm shipping something in a box, but maybe it's a little too tall and one box doesn't cut it, I actually do a Franken box with two of these six inch by four inch by three inch boxes. So see how these fit perfectly in there? Well, now I'm going to fold it down and tape it up but the boxes are so tall that I'm not going to be able to just simply fold down the other side. So instead, I'm going to take a second six inch by four inch by three inch box, and I'm going to slide it over, kind of wiggle it around a little bit, make it slide on. Sometimes it'll rip, but that's okay because we're going to tape it up anyway. A little bit of, of tearing will never hurt anybody. So now that it's completely around it, now I'm going to fold down the top and tape it up. And so then of course, I'm gonna go crazy with the tape again because <laughs> you know me and my tape, especially when it's free. So I'm just going to completely wrap it around one way and then I'm gonna go ahead and do another way around the other way. And then I also wanna go around it where basically the seam of the two boxes are just to give it a little bit more security that it's going to be encased and nothing is going to potentially leak through where those two boxes connect. And then I'm just going to put my label on just as I would. Make sure to tape all of the corners around the label just like I do because the label is just a little bit bigger than the width of the box. That will make sure that the label doesn't peel up during transit and it doesn't get removed from the box and then the merchandise can't find its new owner. My little Franken box. So someone bought two of these rock five in one face and neck creams. Again, with the volume pricing, I love doing volume pricing. They bought two for $29.02. After shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on the sale was $16.80. And this is going to ship a lot similar to the other lots of face creams that you see. I really honestly feel like a lot of this uh, shipping video is just me doing the same thing over and over again. It's a lot of the uh, six by four inch by three inch box. It's a lot of the 1096 L in the envelopes. I'm telling you guys, I, I ship all of my items basically the same way every time. And that's one of my favorite things about sourcing the kind of merchandise that I get is because it's all very repetitive and predictable when it comes to shipping. I know how they're all gonna ship. They're all gonna ship in a small box like this. They're all gonna ship in a flat rate envelope of some kind. It's super predictable, which means I don't have to have a ton of shipping supplies on hand. I have certain few shipping supplies that I always keep on hand, and that helps me take care of anything that I sell. The next listing that sold is a lot of two OGX Mineral Surge Deep Conditioning Hair Treatment. So this actually sold for a pretty penny. This lot of two tubes sold for $32.28. Again, this does need to ship in a priority flat rate envelope because together they weigh over a pound. So that means after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, total profit on this sale was $16.97.
And then the last shipment that I'm gonna show you guys is this lot of 11 three ounce bottles of Cantu Shea Butter Hydrating Deep Conditioner. So technically, okay, so they sold for $30 and I don't really count any cost of goods towards these and let me tell you why. Whenever I receive a shipment of merchandise in, travel size merchandise, I honestly don't count as a cost of goods. I basically consider travel size merchandise free inventory because I know that I can sell travel size item in, in large lots, but if you price them as the same cost of goods as full price items, you're almost going to be losing money on those sales. And so to just make it easier, anytime I get anything travel size in a liquidation order, I almost pretend like it's not even there. I pretend like it's free inventory. And now I am also lining this priority flat rate bubble mailer with some scrap cardboard just to try to protect these bottles a little bit more because I don't trust just bubble wrap. If I have something that could be damaged or broken during transit and I am shipping in the padded flat rate envelope, I like to put scrap cardboard in there just as another barrier to protect the items inside. But these small bottles of can-do conditioner sold for $30 after shipping fees and cost of goods. Total profit was $18.56. Just goes to show you even travel size will sell online. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section how you felt about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know what you thought of this style of video. If there's an overwhelming response of positivity for it, then I will definitely consider doing more just like this. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I post a new video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to check the video description. I will put a lot of useful information in there as well as the coupon code to get you $25 off of anything on the Wholesale Ninjas website. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you guys with my next video. Bye-bye.